The Yale University student government just passed a resolution claiming that Israel is committing ethnic cleansing and genocide. But from 1967 until today, the population of Jerusalem has gone from 26% Arab to 38% Arab. In 1948, there were 150,000 Arab citizens in Israel. Today, there are more than 1.9 million Israeli Arabs, including me. The total Palestinian population, Gaza and the West Bank, has increased nine times since 1948. In Gaza, the population has gone from 60,000 in 1948 to over 2 million today. Since Israel's first major operation in Gaza in 2008, the population has increased from 1.4 million to 2.1 million. In fact, according to the Palestinian government, there has never been a decrease in Palestinian population in any Palestinian city for as long as they provide statistics. Does any of that sound like ethnic cleansing or genocide to you? For comparison's sake, the Jewish population in Europe in 1933 was about 9.5 million. In 1950, it was 3.5 million. Now that's genocide. The same week that Yale did this, a rabbi was stabbed on the streets of New England. Coincidence? Not at all. It's irresponsible to make exaggerated smears against Israel, especially when these are being used to excuse anti-Semitic violence. Yale is supposed to be one of the top universities in the world. Yet apparently, their students aren't smart enough to know the definition of ethnic cleansing and genocide. And I thought, Yale is hard to get into.